All right, let's talk about how I use Andy Frisella's power list to crush my quota in my job, hit my running workouts, hit my lifting workouts, and have an abundant social life because I know that I completed these things. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what Andy Frisella defines a power list as briefly, and then I'm gonna go over steps that I recommend taking so that you can create a power list for yourself. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go over randomly some of the power lists that I've had. I've been using the power list since December, 2022, and I've learned a lot through this process. So I'm gonna go over some of the power lists that I've had, and then we're gonna I'm gonna grade them at the end. So stay tuned for that. What is the power list? So Andy Frisella, explains the power list as completing five critical tasks throughout your day. If you complete all five of those critical tasks throughout the day, you win the day. If you win the majority of the days in the week, you win the week. If you win majority of the weeks in the month, you win the month, you win the year, so on so forth, you can win your life. So it's very simple. It's a good way to really compartmentalize and figure out what you need to prioritize throughout your day and complete that's gonna be the most important to get you towards your goals. So now let's go over some tips that I have on how to figure out what your critical tasks should be. So what we're gonna do is work backwards from the critical tasks. So first of all, what I want you to do is sit down and visualize and embody what you want to have in your life. So this could be a material item, it could be a new car that you wanna have, it could be financial freedom, it could be the feeling of success just in general. Um, it could be a race time that you want to have. It could be how you want to look in your physique. There's no limit to this. Just think about it and figure out what exactly you want it to be. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and use the financial goal. Work backwards from that goal that you have. So for me, for a financial goal, I'm thinking about a commission check, a monthly commission check. I need to figure out exactly how many signatures on the subscription service that I help to sell I need to have to get to that financial goal or what combination I need to have of different package sizes, things like that to get to that financial goal. Now, point number three, going into this, you need to figure out how many touch points or activity points, in my case, I need to have to get a signal, single signature. So what I figured out is that I need to have at least 40 touch points per day. On my power list, nearly every day, I have complete 40 touch points per day I am working from home. I know that it is attainable for myself, but you need to make sure that the financial goal that you have and the amount of signatures that you have and the activity points that you have for this example, you're able to complete that in a appropriate amount of time because you don't wanna burn yourself out by any means. So figure out how long this is actually going to take you and then see if it's attainable for yourself. Now lastly, you're going to repeat this process until this specific critical task becomes a habit for you. And then you can replace it with another item to keep moving forward. Now we can go over an example of a power list with fitness. So say that you your goal and desire is to run a marathon. So walking backwards from that, what do we need to do? Maybe we need to hire a coach. Maybe we need to look up online plans. We need to figure out how many days per week we need to run. So once you figure out that or hire your coach, you can figure out, okay, well, what does the workout plan entail? How many days per week do I need to run? Okay, perfect. When can I complete that run? What days can I complete it on? And then you can start adding in those runs to your power list. It could be one of your five critical tasks. So maybe, for example, run 10 miles on a Tuesday. That could be one of the critical tasks because it's propelling you towards the goal of finishing a marathon. So now I'm gonna look over some of the power lists that I've had over the past few months. So this one is from February 6th, 2023. So I have on the five critical tasks, first alarm, wake up on the first alarm, good. Complete 40 tasks that day, awesome. Go to the gym, read 10 pages of a book, and then eat three meals. So. This was a really great power list, in my opinion. I think that this would be a really great graded one. I have very specific items that I need to complete, and I did win the day on this. So on March 21st, I have one where it says first alarm. And by the way, so first alarm is waking up on the first alarm without any question. Once the alarm goes off, I'm up, I'm not hitting snooze, and I'm making it out of my bed bad habit that I've had in the past, so I wanted to make sure that it was on the power list because it compounds into other areas of my life. 
three meals, definitely something that uh, should be on the power list if I was having trouble eating three meals, which I was at that time. Uh, going to the gym, once again, protein and lifting. So I would say that that's not the best thing because that's almost two things in one, but I did have getting my protein and also lifting in the same one. Hitting 40 tasks, that's great. And then I had a, a specific task with my work on this one. It was about um, helping to, on a certain account to raise the prices, things of that nature. I actually didn't end up completing that, so I did lose that day, but decent power list. I would say I would give it like a, a eight out of 10. The protein and lifting, those should have been two separate, separate items, but that's pretty nitpicky. You just wanna make sure that you're not making your power list too complicated. You wanna make sure that it is very simple, concise, and something that will not go past five items and overwhelm you. Now this one definitely wasn't one that would do that, but I have gotten myself into that scenario in the past. Now moving on to the last one I wanna give an example for. So I have this one on April 5th, 2023. I have once again, first alarm. I have complete 40 tasks. I have three meals and protein, once again, uh, kind of in the same category, so that's fine, but this is almost two different items, so maybe not the best. I have run, and then I have meditate. So I did complete this day, I won the day. I'd say this is a pretty awesome power list. So it's all about thinking of the bigger picture, concising it down into smaller things, figuring out what days we can do those on, and then making them into critical tasks so that we're sure that we are progressing towards our overall goals and dreams every single day. So leave a comment, let me know how you're using your power list, how you've taken your goals and dreams and put them into critical tasks and how that is going for you. You might be wondering how I got my remote tech sales job that I love. And I actually did a video on this a couple years ago of how I went through the interview process and the strategies that I used to get this job. Take a look at that video. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the description and also maybe on the video screen here. Let me know what you think and stay tuned because I'm gonna be coming out with more videos throughout the year on how to become the best version of yourself.